Hi everyone and welcome back in lockdown cooking where we're trying to cook when there's not that much left in the cupboard or in the fridge and today the weather is beautiful, it's really hot and I fancy ice cream. No ice cream left in my freezer so I'm going to make my own ice cream. Um, so super simple, it just takes five, 5 to 10 minutes max and this is what we need, we will need some cream some milk, we need a bit of vanilla, powdered sugar, rising sugar, some rock salt and some ice cubes. And then, very important, we will need a small zippy bag and a big zippy bag. Alright, let's do this, let's make some ice cream. Okay, so, uh, first things first, alright, I'm going to use half half cream and milk and I'm going to use um, 150 ml of cream I use double cream there you go and I can use this for sauce or something else later okay and I'm gonna use 150 ml of milk now it's actually better to have full fat milk um, because um, low fat tend to get some crystals um, uh, it gets water and it has some crystals in there but that's all I had so I'm going to cook with this today okay then we need a tablespoon of sugar if you have caster sugar, you can do it without two, that works. Um, well, some recipes say that you need two tablespoons of sugar. Um, I just do one because I'm just finding it just a little bit too sugary. But if you like sugar, I'll be alright. Just double it up, okay? I do one, you can do two, it's up to you. Alright, then I'm going to do a tablespoon of vanilla. I do like the vanilla taste. Uh, sorry, not a tablespoon, a teaspoon. So, if I repeat, a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's put it down. Let's mix this. You can at this stage, if you would like, have a little taste. On the side, if you want to put a bit more sugar or vanilla extract. Okay. Um, now that's the basics. If you would like to add a bit of uh, drinking chocolate to make it chocolatey or if you want to just bash uh, some chocolate and have little um, bits of chocolate in there or cookie or coconut or strawberries, whatever you like, you can add it in there at this stage now. Okay, that's all good to me. Alright, so you just need a pot or something like this now huh, to put your cream in a zippy bag. Make sure you get a really good zippy bag that gets uh, sealed. Well, I'm going to put it in this one here. You can put it in a bowl, whatever you like. I'll do the job. Okay, let's put it in there. Nice. And now we zip it really, really well. Make sure nothing will get out of there. Mm. Should be okay. All right, now let's go for the big bag. For the purpose of this video, um, I've already prepared this in four hands. So you will need to put 
loads of ice cubes in the big zippy bag. Just enough so that it fits in there and it will fit this one as well. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's done. We will add now some rock salt or table salt if you have. Now, there's a lot of chemistry behind this. Um, if you um, were salt, um, lowers the, te the melting temperature of um, water. There's a lot of things you can just look it up on the internet. I'm just um, I'm not going to talk too much about this, but if you're really interested, you can ask the question maybe to your science teachers. So, what I'll do is I'll put, let's say, something like a good tablespoon of that rock salt. Yep. Okay. Put it in there. Right. Double checking that it's not leaking. It's a bit leaking here. Okay, put this one in the middle. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to have to shake this with the ice. for a good five minutes. Okay, now, to make it, again, seated really well, to make it easier, I just rub it around the towel like this. Okay, so all you can do in five minutes, if you don't know, you can maybe put a song on, go along the garden while you're shaking, do a little dance, or okay, keep yourself busy for a good five minutes. Okay. And to save the battery on my camera, I'm just gonna turn it off while I'm doing this. And I'll see you back in five minutes. Okay, we are Two, maybe three minutes later of shaking. I thought to go and have a quick little look, see how it looks like. Okay, you see, it's just start to harden a little bit. Not completely there yet. So, let's put it back in there. and shake it for two more minutes. All right, my hands are a bit cold now, but I think we are good with our ice cream. Let's have a look. Okay, look at this, it's all hot. You get ice cream. Hey! All right. Let's put this one in here. Okay. Let's dry the bag a little bit. Nice. Oh, my hands are warming up now. Okay. Something really cool to do, kids. Okay. So just to make it look nice, cut some strawberries. Cut two pots. And I would say, let's tuck in homemade ice cream.
Let's give it a try. Mmm, I love it. Okay, like I said earlier, I don't put too much sugar because I don't like to put too much sugar in there. So you can do a bit more if you want to, but that's great stuff. Really refreshing in a very hot day like today. Okay, I'm gonna um, scoop this off for the rest of the family and we're going to enjoy it in the garden. Okay, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you later. Stay safe and see you soon. Bye!